Hey guys, I'm Annie of HoleAssistant.com. Last week we talked all about work-life balance and how your, how your values should inform your work-life balance. This week we're going to talk about boundaries because it's hard to have a work-life balance or any decent work-life at all without healthy boundaries. And my friends kind of tease me about this one because I harp on this a lot. I am a big fan of healthy boundaries. And my first tip for you guys is that communication is key. Your coworkers and your boss will not know how to treat you unless you communicate it to them. So just assuming that um, people should treat you well and should honor your boundaries if they don't know what they are um, is, is – it's, it's no good. So we actually need to communicate what our boundaries are. And just remember that with every interaction, you are training people on how you want to be treated. And so that's why communication is so key, because we want to train people on how we want to be treated. And um, for each of us, this will look different. And our values will inform our boundaries, just like our values will inform our work-life balance. So keep that in mind as well. My second little tip is to let your coworkers know, this one is in particular around time management, let your coworkers know when you are available to do certain tasks and this one is hard for a lot of us because we're as as administrative professionals and as assistants we tend to drop everything to help our coworkers and sometimes that's great and sometimes it's necessary because they, it may be an emergency but oftentimes it's not necessary at all and we're interrupt and we we take that interruption and um, when we don't have to, like when we could just say, oh, I will get to that, or, or can you come back in a half hour, I'm in the middle of something. I had a coworker at a former job who put a sign outside of her office, and she, like telling everybody not to disturb her, and sure, people questioned it, and they pushed back, which I'll get to in a minute on how to deal with that, but, um, but it was a really great way for her to communicate with us, like when she was available and when she wasn't. So, so back to that communication piece, we need to communicate. We, we also need to let our coworkers know when we'll be able to tackle whatever they, they wanted or needed done, again, in a non-emergent situation. Um, so as your values change, so will your boundaries. Um, and a good example of this is I, I'm always available to my boss. I make myself very available after hours. And the reason that works is because my boss is really respectful of my time. Um, if, if he wasn't, I wouldn't be so inclined to, uh, to, be, to make myself so available. But because he is really respectful and because he only contacts me on the weekends or evenings when he absolutely needs something, I am, I'm really happy to... Um, to be accommodating. Now, I will say that I recently had a conversation with him regarding my Sundays. So I've been available all weekend before, and I told him that moving forward, I'm not going to be available on Sundays because I work a very rigorous job, and I run this blog and whole assistant, and it was beginning to be too much. And I just needed one day a week where I would stay in my pajamas and do nothing and just rest and relax and take care of myself. So I communicated that to my boss, and um, and he he got it because he's a crazy busy human too. And that is one way in which like my values. And my self-care values, like I want to take good care of myself, informed a boundary with my boss. And then I communicated it again. Remember step one, like communication is key. Um, I communicated again to him, like what the change was and what I was hoping for. And so I told him if he absolutely needs something on Sunday to text me and don't send me an email because I'm not checking my emails on Sunday. So here's the deal, guys. And this, this little tidbit is amazing. And I actually heard this from a mentor of mine way back when and she told me she said Annie it is other people's job to test your boundaries it's their job you know we can set a boundary and then but the boundary is only tried and true once it's tested and so I stopped getting offended when people would test my boundaries and I realized that hey this is the natural thing they that people do because they want to know that your boundary is actually your boundary. So just keep that in mind. And to my next point was, is that like, what is the point of setting boundaries with others if we ourselves are not willing to honor them? 
So for example, um, and I, I have not been good at this over the years, even though I know people test my boundaries and with certain boundaries I've been very good, but with particularly with regards to work stuff, um, I, I started to respond to non-emergent emails outside of office hours and that's training people that I'll respond to non-emergent emails outside of office hours. That's not a, that's not a good or healthy boundary to to have. So now I don't do that. Now I hold that boundary um, because it's important to me for everybody to know that like I'm not 100% yours when I'm with my family. In fact, I'm 100% theirs. Um, so that's one that's one good example of how like we need to honor our own boundaries too and my second point with boundaries for us individually is that we need to be aware of how much time we are spending on social media and stuff and and wasting time during office hours um, that is another time that's a huge time suck and I'm big into time management and I'm big into productivity. So that is a boundary that I, I really work hard to hold for myself. And so at 10 o'clock and at two o'clock, those are my times when I take a break and check social media. So if you, so if you send me a note on social media, I will probably respond around 10 or two mountain time because that's the parameters. Those are the boundaries that I created for myself because otherwise what happens is, we self-sabotage and we aren't getting stuff done for work. And so that's another like personal boundary that I would encourage us all to hold. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment below. I want to hear how you guys manage um, your boundaries and what boundaries you have set that have been really, really helpful for you in the office and in your personal life as well. And, um, and maybe like some flubs too, like, you know, I, I didn't have this boundary and now I do and this is the result. So please share below and I look forward to talking to you guys all next Tuesday, 7 o'clock Mountain Time. Talk to you then.